my name is Rob and welcome to another completely unscripted consumed producer's report. Okay, today we're going to chat about getting people into a shoot. They might think that's really, really easy. Actually, it's really, really hard. Here's why. People are busy. People who want to shoot film are usually really, really busy. Now, I'm not going to say this is how you guarantee getting people on to, onto your set on time to do the film or onto your location. Probably more accurate. Hey, I'm back again. Okay. We're, we're talking today about getting the cast and the crew together onto your, uh, onto your location to shoot the film. Now, this is not as easy as you may think, because although everybody's enthusiastic about making the film, everybody loves the idea, it's looking good, really, really solid. It doesn't always happen. And that's really simply because the people who want to shoot film are people who are really, really busy. So, how do you go about making this happen? Well, first of all, everyone's enthusiastic. You've got a bonus there, it's going to happen. The second thing you've got to remember is this. If people are really, really busy, make sure you can handle it when they don't turn up. Make sure you've got an a, a plan A, B and C. Something that's going to help keep the project going. So if, if one set of people can't turn up, okay, you've got some more and, just, and you can shoot something. If they don't turn up, you can shoot something else. The important bit is to shoot something. And I, I'm harking back here to this kind of thing Robert Rodriguez was talking about. Is it, if you keep things skinny, you keep things tight, you can normally shoot something. Okay, when you're rescheduling the film, make sure you're close to the director and make sure that you're close with everybody. Aside from my thoughts now on keeping the whole thing together and how to, and to make sure you've got multiple shooting plans so that you can always keep something happening and you can always keep some lights going, how are things on the consumer project? Yeah, they're pretty good. We've got two great scripts. The original had a much shorter prequel which is coming out as a sort of trailer for the film. We built some more steady cams and more people are just in helping us. We've actually we're now getting a how are things going with consumer actually quite good. We've got more steady cams. A lot more people are interested in helping us. We've made some fantastic some fantastic connections recently. I really must say in network get network like mad. Don't just write emails to people you know. Network. Network brings in surprises. Big surprises. And I've got to say thank you to people who are currently offering us masses of costume and equipment or specialist knowledge. All because we said all because of just talking to people. And talking to people is pretty important, so next lesson for to the Nobody film director, network, network, director, <laughs> producer. Next thing for the nobody film producer is network. I'll admit we probably haven't done that much networking because we, we've been reasonably self sufficient over the last year. But we get to the point now where we know we start, we're trying to get a lot of momentum going, we're from these people, so we're networking and that's a fantastic success. And I've got to say a huge thank you uh, to the people who have been getting massive costume very first. You know who you are? Thank you very much indeed. That sounds trite, but it's not. It's a genuine from the heart, thank you. We've been doing more practice shoots to make sure that the real film looks good again. And again, this is important. Why? Because... Because we don't want to mess the script up. What's next? Next is next is our plan for regular regular shoots and getting more things out online. I'm hoping the next few uh, blogs will be me screaming at a camera saying, "You over there doing this right now?" Or in other words, location blogs. I'm really looking forward to the next series of blogs because they will all be on location. Which also means you'll probably see me running away from the zombies. 
Zombies seem to like chasing me. I think it's a hair. The producer has hiccups.